One St. Charles County Police Department is putting its walk and talk campaign into action. Right now, Winsville police are spread out going door to door in a neighborhood in the northeast part of town. That's where our Ray Preston is live tonight detailing what officers are trying to do. Yeah, they just now wrapped this up a few moments ago, but you know, the idea behind this walk and talk program is literally get out, walk these neighborhoods, talk with a lot of these neighbors, have one on one conversations and really get a feel for what's going on in these subdivisions. So, you know, Wentzville police started at five o'clock here in the Brookshire West subdivision. They talk with neighbors, ask how things are going. You know, police say sometimes people may be hesitant to call them, but when they go out and meet with them like this, well, they'll hear about say property crimes or hear other concerns. Now we did talk with the chief a while ago and ask one of the neighbors here what he thought about this program. It's kind of impromptu, so it's, you know, no, no one's, it's not a critical moment where the residents calling the police where they've got something to report, uh, but we get a lot of information about uh, property crimes that may be occurring that they haven't called us on or we put out rumors about things that they think may be occurring that they're really not occurring. So it's just that dialogue with our, uh, with our residents. Oh, absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Love living in Wentzville. It's a great community and we, we, this is a great subdivision to be in. So they try to do eight of these every year, four in the spring, four in the fall when the weather is a bit nicer so they avoid that summer heat. Now they say sometimes homeowners associations will request that they come to their subdivision. Some may have to wait a while though because they tell us that there are more than 200 subdivisions in Wentzville. As for the fall walk and talks, this is the first one so they plan three more this fall as well. Reporting live in Wentzville, Ray Preston, News 4.